This video is on task two, the instructional commentary, tips for choosing your evidence for EdTPA in order to add them to the instructional commentary. So the purpose of the video is to share tips for choosing the evidence from the video clips you've now recorded all three of your lessons. You have a lot of video. So how do you figure out what clips to actually choose? Statements in your commentary must be backed up by evidence and the evidence you provide has to be um, from the film clips and they have to be timestamps. So you might say something like at minute 136, all the students are laughing and I join in as evidence of rapport. So you need to have these evidence statements that are actually the timestamps from the, the, the two clips that you provide. You're only going to provide the two clips. Depends on your handbook how long those clips are, um, but you will not be providing them with all of the video, only the two clips. So to get started, keep the commentary questions in front of you. You need to have the commentary open and be looking at those five questions. They have multiple parts, just like the first commentary. Watch your video slowly, you know, stop frequently. And every time you see something good in your video, write down a short description and the timestamp. Then by the end, you should have a list of good evidence and timestamps. So you're going to sort your evidence into the categories that match those five, the, those five questions on the commentary. And then you're going to add that evidence to your commentary responses. You can go back in and, and write it and make it smooth and edit it. But for right now, you're just going to kind of cut and paste them back into your commentary. And then evaluate whether you've met everything that they've asked for. So review the rubrics for task two. Certainly review the questions again. Have you demonstrated everything listed? If not, review your videos again and choose different clips. The worst case scenario, you film again, um, but you know chances are you're going to have uh, at least most of what they're looking for. So good luck with this. You've got this. We usually do pretty well on task two, and um, we wish you the best of luck.